Hello, I hope you are doing well and staying healthy. It's my pleasure to present you our work about the analysis of the performance of lampel uh, compression algorithm for Markov source, a joint work with Wojciech Pontkowski of Purdue University. So the lampel compression algorithm is among the 10 most used algorithm. Uh, you use it even if you don't, are not aware of this. It is uh, in Unix. It is uh, the, it is used in Unix. It is in it image compression GIF, in PDF, and so forth. This uh, algorithm has generated, since uh, more than 40 years, a huge quantity of literature, and more particularly, a huge quantity of literature in our community because there are very uh, strong connections between uh, this algorithm and information theory and combinatorial analysis. In short, how the compression algorithm is uh, doing, you take a text, the text to compress, and the compression algorithm fragment the text into phrases. The phrases has nothing to do with grammar or semantic. It's just consecutive uh, sequence of consecutive uh, symbols. Each, each phrase is replaced by the short code, and the concatenation of all these short codes makes the compression of the text. How the phrases are breaking out? The it is done in a recursively way. The next phrase is the longest copy of a previously seen phrase plus an extra symbol. Therefore, the code of, for this new phrase is the index of the copy uh, previously seen plus the extra symbol. Therefore, the final code sequence will be uh, uh, alternation between index, symbols, index, symbol, index, symbol. Uh, what is interesting for our community is the fact that the phrase breaking process can be uh, done via a digital search tree. You build the digital search tree, the DST of the current phrases, and then you take the remaining text and you use the symbol of the remaining text to find a path and the path uh, is equivalent to the insertion of the part of the remaining text, which is the next phrases. Next phrase. Therefore, to analyze this uh, this algorithm, there are two models in parallel. I would say in competition, no, in parallel, because they are complementary, which is a DST-M model, M because consider that there are M independent infinite strings inserted in the DST, and L sub M is a path length. On the LZN model, we consider we have a text of N, uh, length N, which is broken into lampensive phrases, and M sub N is a number of phrases. So what is interesting is that we have the equivalence of the DSTM model, Lampensive model, but not in general. When the text source is memoryless, we have this equivalence. The reason for that is because we have the backward independence. The current digital search tree made of the previous uh, seen phrases and the rest of the text are independent, and this makes the analysis tractable. This was uh, one uh, our paper with Wojtek, which is a uh, fourth century uh, old, not Wojtek, I mean the paper, and, uh, and the question was to use combinatorial analysis to, 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 to to, to, uh, to make the, 
the uh, analysis are the performance of the algorithm. So you take the infinite text from a memoryless source, and what we found is that we for m phrases, the proportion of uh, covered text, which is basically the external path length of the digital search tree, tends to be normal when the number of phrases tends to infinity, with the mean, which is uh, mostly linear, I mean that it is m over h times log m, plus something linear, and the variance is of order m log m. There are exact expressions for this quantity in uh, this old paper. Uh, therefore, uh, what was interesting in this paper is that uh, the combinatorial analysis was done over generating function about a non-linear differential equation. The generating function of the path length uh, satisfies a non-linear differential equation. And uh, uh, we have to use techniques of non-linear technique to figure out that we, we got a normal distribution at the end. Now we come back to the n model with the number of phrases in the text of uh, length n, n sub n, and using the, using the neural property that basically say that if the number of phrases on the uh, text of length n is greater than m, it means that the path length uh, in the DST with the m first phrase is still under n. Then we see that uh, this result uh, translates to say that the number of phrases are technically normal. The mean is the inverse of the average path length. Uh, therefore, it is certainly uh, equivalent to the entropy rate times n divided by log n, as we see it is important. And the variance is the order of 1 over log square n. Uh, and the compression uh, rate, which is the uh, length of the compressed code divided by the length of the original text, uh, is the following. Uh, each phrase is compressed with an index, which is described with log n uh, bit, and uh, plus uh, log of uh, the size of the alphabet for uh, indicating the extra symbol. The, we can see that the compression rate tends to uh, the entropy rate as expected and the redundancy which is basically the difference between the compression rate and the entropy tends to be to zero uh, as one over log n it is a known result therefore the remark is that uh, DST model and the Lampel-Ziv model are no longer equivalent for Markov and Tech. The reason for that is that the Merkovian generation incurs dependencies uh, both time forward and time backward. And the time backward uh, dependency kills the backward independence that was needed to set the equivalence between the M model and the uh, N model in the uh, memoryless uh, case. So now let's present our result that we'll obtain after having taken this problem of the absence of equivalence between the DST model and the Lampel-Ziv model. Uh, we'll arrive to the fact that, uh, as is expected, the result of number of phrases is similar to the uh, memoryless case, uh, that is, uh, we have the average uh, number of uh, phrases, which is the inverse of the uh, function L, which is uh, asymptotically equivalent to M log M over H. The, the variance is not as precise as it had before. Uh, we can just only say that it is uh, uh, close to, to more than linear, but uh, uh, as close as possible to linear. 
the distribution of the first symbol in phrase, which is a surprise in this uh, study, is not uh, equivalent, even asymptotically, to the transitional distribution of Markov. Uh, the, as we will see uh, after, uh, the redundancy satisfies the same property as we remember is a uh, source that it is an or order one over log n. For our main difficulty, the cliff we have to climb is the fact that this uh, DST model and Lampensiv model are no longer equivalent and we need to be equipped to, uh, to prevail in this uh, work. So the question is how far we can go with the M model uh, before trying to do the, tr the, the transition to the N model and mark even source. Uh, in fact, the problem of uh, the DST with the Markovian uh, sequences has been already analyzed. Uh, basically, one must track the initial symbol of each uh, sequence. Uh, therefore, the probability distribution of the path length should contain the indication of uh, on which symbol you start. In this case, uh, using the probability function, we get the following differential nonlinear equation, which looks very similar to the previous uh, case with a memoryless uh, uh, source, uh, with the difference that you have to introduce the transition uh, coefficient uh, for the Markovian process. The path length is optically normal. Uh, we have the same basic result uh, as with the memoryless case. The impact of the first uh, symbol of the sequence tend to vanish when the number of a sequence increases for the reason that the length of the sequence uh, inserted in the tree uh, tends to uh, increase. Uh, similarly, uh, when uh, m tends to infinity, uh, the coefficient tend to a constant plus periodic term when the transition matrix is rational, uh, otherwise it tends to uh, constant. The ultimate refinement of the M model is to introduce the tail symbol. In the DST, the tail symbol, if you consider you have infinite uh, sequence you insert in the, in the DST, will be for each sequence the symbol that occur after the cutoff uh, when the sequence is inserted in the DST. If we imagine uh, the lampel uh, model, it will be the first symbol of the next phrase in the N model. But uh, we know it is too early to consider the transition with the N model. But uh, on the M model, we will call Tm the number of tail symbols equal to symbol A, we call that a binary alphabet, and we define the probability distribution coefficient of the uh, path length and, and tail symbol. Uh, we consider the probability generating function, and we get the following uh, nonlinear uh, differential equation, which is very similar uh, with the previous uh, equation we have seen to the difference, this has three variables instead of two. They, they we use the same techniques and we got to the fact, in this work is limited to binary alphabet, uh, that the, the tuple of uh, path length and the uh, number of tail symbols asymptotically normal, and we have the linear behavior of the average of the, uh, of the number of tail symbol equals to symbol A, with the same property when we have a periodic, a non, a a rational, non-rational transition matrix. Here, uh, we got the result that we claim, but we cannot yet establish it for the Lampel-Ziv, is the fact that in the Markovian uh, DST, the tail symbol is already not equivalent to the Markov Sassonian distribution. And the reason why it is not equivalent, in fact, is because when you cut off the, the, the sequence in the, the disaster tree, it is not, the cutoff is not 
made at random the sequence is made at the position where it leaves the tree. And the convergence is in M log M. Now we have go as far as we could go with the M model. Now we have uh, to attack the, the last part of the work is coming back to the Lampel-Ziv N model. Remember, I repeat again, they are not equivalent with Markov source. If they were equivalent, then life will be absolutely beautiful because we could use exactly the same uh, the, 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 the same trick we use with uh, ma, ma, with memoryless. Uh, we will have a little more co a, a more complicated. So if uh, the calligraphic P is uh, this is a probable the property distribution of the uh, path length in the first phase of the lampel ziv model, uh, we'll have something equivalent with the memoryless case, except that we have to consider also that the number, the, 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 the tail symbol must basically be related to the initial symbol of the next phrases. Therefore, we will have a, a little more complicated kind of convolution. And but before looking at this convolution, we must uh, convince ourselves that it is this, this identity is wrong. Uh, so why it is wrong? So what is what is failing when we try to do the transition from uh, the D Markovian DST to lampel ziv It's something very simple. You take a text and you use a lampel ziv uh, writing process to carve phrases. So you consider the, the initial symbol of each phrase, the initial symbol of each phrase is uh, the tail symbol of the previous phrase, and you move the phrase according to the first symbol in the DST. For example, the red go to the left because it starts with the A, and it has tail symbol A. Then the pink go to the left because it starts with A, it's a tail symbol B. The, the the green go to the right because it starts with B. Then, since the text symbol is A, you go back to the left subtree, and then the blue uh, remaining phrase go to the right subtree. And basically, if we have uh, if we have a sequence, initial sequence of tail symbol in the initial text, we have at the end. Two tail, uh, two uh, sequence of tail symbol in the left subtree and the right subtree. They are in, the, in both cases equal to A B B. Thus, we can uh, refine our uh, definition of the uh, probability distribution of a path length in. Uh, by considering the imposing the sequence at which the tail uh, symbol occur in the in the text or in the DST, in the text it will be this this definition, and in the DST, assuming all uh, sequence start with symbol C, we have this. If we want to go come back to the original uh, probability distribution, we have to sum all sequence. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, we don't have the convolution that will make the transition between the M model and the N model that basically that the probability uh, distribution of the path length uh, is obtained by the convolution of the probability distribution of the uh, sequence on the left tree and the right sub, the, the right sub tree. In other words, we don't have this convolution. permutations because if you consider you fix a, sequ a sequence of tail symbol on the left subtree a sequence on the right subtree you not necessarily have a feasible uh, text uh, look if you start with the with the left uh, subtree and you rebuild the the text you have the pink one since it's, it is uh, it is ending with a b 
you have the green one. Since it is ending, the green one ending with a, a state stable A, you have to the red one, and the red one finish with the A, and there's no longer any uh, sequence starting with the A in the left subtree, you have only a uh, sequence starting with B in the right subtree, you cannot uh, build uh, a text. It will be the same problem if you start with the right subtree. If we want to include the lost permutation, the unfeasible permutation, we will uh, get uh, if we restrict to cyclic permutation, the following inequality. Uh, I, I, I say cyclic permutation because I consider uh, permutation where the tail symbol of the last phrase is the uh, first symbol of the first phrase. If I include all permutations, including the side effect of the first and last phrase, I will have three terms. To simplify, all these terms are just similar uh, modulo uh, translation of 1 or uh, minus 1 or plus 1. We can just uh, remember that it is uh, the, 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 the calligraphic uh, PMN is just a three, smaller three times uh, uh, the following convolution. If we take the, the previous convolution, and if the coefficient were exactly Gaussian, then uh, the convolution will be a Gaussian convolution, and therefore, uh, as a classic result with Gaussian convolution, the result will be Gaussian. And for some constant c, uh, we will get the following uh, inequality, and we will get the claim result that basically the distribution of the path length is a very peak uh, around uh, the mean and uh, that the variance is, uh, uh, is small, is m, m log m, and uh, therefore or we will get the same result via renewal uh, property uh, about the redundancy. In fact, the the exact analysis a little more complicated because the coefficients are not exactly Gaussian but they are tending to be Gaussian and uh, uh, what we get is not uh, sub-Gaussian uh, but a two-sided exponential. Uh, and what is interesting is the fact that uh, the first initial symbol, which is circled in red, uh, is of course, different has distribution different as the distribution of the stationary uh, Markov uh, uh, distribution, and uh, it has an impact indeed on the path length, a linear impact, as we see in the following uh, sim simulation, where the, the we display the difference between the path length in the DST built on stationary Markov sequence and the path length uh, built from a stationary text of length n. Uh, for conclusion, basically uh, we consider that uh, all these results can be extended to more than binary alphabet and more than one memory one uh, Markov process. The key uh, uh, I mean, question uh, what will happen if we consider the infinite alphabet, infinite memory, which is a, uh, a question that are interesting in terms of information theory. So, thank you for your attention and uh, stay healthy.